All right, Patrick's been complaining recently that he's had to hire all the models, and he said, Lee, you've got to hire the model for the next one. Last night, I was at a costume party, and our buddy Charlie was there. He was recently in another video, and he was dressed insane. And I said, Charlie, will you model for Patrick for this next video we have to do? He said, yes, let's go tell Patrick. All right, Patrick. As you asked, I got a model. He's showing up in an hour. It is Charlie, yes, Charlie, our friend. Don't worry, he's got an incredible new look. He models? In this, <laughs> he does now. In this hat here, we've got six different lighting setups. We've got like hard light, soft light, uh, back light, high key, low key, and then uh, up lighting. Go ahead Sounds like and, a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. Whatever you choose is the lighting you have to use. Do not choose poorly. You were at a party. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> single for life, I assume, right? Uh, I, I will be single, I think, possibly. After this, yeah, yes. After so this. I'm here trying to shoot Charlie with this crazy getup. I don't know if this is like Renaissance or this is equestrian. Like I have a range. Now, normally I wouldn't tell someone in front of my camera this, but I have never taken a photo with up lighting before. So this is gonna be new for me and new for you and new for you guys. So we have this Profoto B10 here. I have it on the tiniest little stand we have in the studio. I think this is actually a background stand. And then we have uh, their two foot beauty dish, which ironically is called a beauty dish in this situation. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's go ahead and take a test shot here and see like what this, I can imagine what this is gonna look like, but let's go ahead and, I mean, it's got potential. I'm wondering, with a standard beauty dish, if I take this baffle off, maybe this is gonna make the light a little harder and edgier. I don't know that I really want soft light from coming up below. I mean, maybe, maybe that could work, but with a traditional beauty dish, I don't know if you can see it from that camera angle, but you have this little gap between the soft side of a beauty dish and then this little reflector plate that kind of keeps the hard light from spilling over. But in between, I don't know if you can see this on camera, you have this hard light spilling out. So in a way, this kind of acts, it's like a flag maybe is the right word, where I can control the spill off. And I think what I wanna do is to block the light on his shirt, because that is such a ridiculous outfit you got going on there. And maybe I could just kind of spill the light onto your face. So let's do the same shot with the baffle on top. We're kind of sending light all over the place and it's, it's kind of making a less dramatic portrait. But by taking the front baffle off, I can use the edge of the beauty dish and really position the shadows probably right below his neck. But of course our scene is just way too dark. I mean, this almost looks like Blair Witch on the seas. I can't even see your hat right now. So why don't we add a second light? And we have so many options here. We have like every softbox possible. Let's do a one by three. How do you feel about that? Is that? I love one by, one by threes are great. All right, so here is an OCF one by three. And so it's one foot by three feet long. I like to use these um, to edge out people. You can use them for product photography, but for people, it's great because we can add just highlights here. Now, from experience, if I get this too close to him, it's probably gonna be in my frame, but it's also gonna light his hat brighter than his shoulders. So I wanna find a distance to where maybe that fall off is even so that his hat and his shoulders and this beautiful little scarf thing here, what is this called? I have not completed my captain's course yet, so I do not know all of the attire names. Let's be honest, you raided your girlfriend's wardrobe to find this, right? Uh, well, we are gonna try to light this evenly. We're gonna get light on your hat and then light on your shoulders. You're all in black. We got this black backdrop here. We're at 3.3 there, and then we're at three here. So they're basically set to the same power. The reason these are so low is I'm trying something different. I am gonna be shooting wide open at 2.8. My thought is to just try to blur as much of this as possible. You look like a character out of a play, so why not shoot it with a shallow depth of field? At least that's the idea. All right, so we've now added some light on his hat, a little bit on his shoulders. I feel like the fabric absorbs the light a little differently, but we also have some detail in that handkerchief that you have wrapped around your neck. 
which looks pretty good. Of course, I'm also gonna play with this light to make the front of them a little darker. But now I think like this is quickly turning into a multi-light setup. Let's add some light to our backdrop. We have this really cool gravity backdrop that's kind of painted. We need to add some light to it. So for that, I want to set up a soft light that's not gonna bring too much attention to itself, but just kind of skirt light across. Over here, I have a big soft box. This is an Octabox over here. And this is our brand new B10X, which is the same light as these, it's just the newer version. And I believe the modeling lamp is a little bit brighter. So if you were to shoot video work, you could see that a little bit easier. I'm not exactly sure what this light should be set to. I'm gonna set this to three. So everything's pretty much just the same power. We have channel A, B, and C. If I need to go up in power, I can control it here on the Profoto remote. And let me get this back in position. Lean forward a little bit. And now we're starting to get some light on our backdrop. Give me that condescending look that you love. There you go. And so now we have, we're actually showing the edge of the canvas and that blue paper back there, which is, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It just adds like a little, what do you think of that? It's getting better. Getting, and it, well, I mean, I think this might be my final image. You gotta be a little more excited. <laughs> great. He's like, it's getting yeah. somewhere. Oh, it's starting to look like. Right. All right, well, typically, when you get your lighting set up the way that you like, the next thing is just to blast through a bunch of pictures. So let's go ahead and I want you just to give me a couple different expressions. Give me that lover boy look that you're so good at. Give me the look where you uh, you made contact with Lee across the room before this whole shenanigans was decided. Okay, not that weird, a little less weird than that. I mean, it's something. I'm trying to make the most of uh, what I've been given here, but now are they sharp? All right, Charlie, this is my secret weapon. You're, you're really into technology. Do you have any idea what the red button does? There we go. Yeah, it's... All right, so I got two seconds to get this before it fills up too much of the studio. Oh no, not more. Never put your talent in control of the smoke. No, now, now the scene's just white. No, it's too, look at that. Like he looks like Cheech and Chong. It looks like your boat's on fire. It looks like we're sinking. That, that's, the shot. that's the shot. That's his face. <laughs> All I'm aboard. Going down with the ship. He's going down with the ship. We're not in a COVID world anymore, right? All right, give me a look of concern. <laughs> Almost firing the light into me, which is really strange. But I can see with the modeling lamp how much the light changes. So an interesting way to use this light modifier. I mean, that's really, can you see that? That's pretty cool. I dig it. All right, I think this is my favorite shot of this bunch. And I think we can make this look even better with just a little Photoshop. All right, so this is your final shot? This is your submission? I mean, yeah. I don't, like, this is the best shot of the whole bunch. You have definitely taken what I thought was going to be a hilarious, goofy shot and you've turned it into like this serious, dark, portrait. Um, I did not think it was possible to succeed under the parameters I gave you, but uh, what do you expect from me? Yeah, not much. But I feel like this image is okay. Probably not portfolio worthy by any means. He looks like a, uh, like a French uh, Marine or something. Doesn't he look like a soldier? Uh, yeah, or like a, you know, a, fr a French uh, crab Fisherman or something, I don't know. Definitely French though. Yeah, absolutely French. Um, but I guess what goes around comes around because next time you You're get up. to challenge me. Yeah. And I have a bit of a confession. I'm sure you can guess how I set you up. Yeah, with Charlie. And every single one of those pieces of paper said up like you. <laughs> okay, okay. So. so. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure Patrick is going to get me back here. If you guys want to see that, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. And if you want to check out our full-length photography tutorials, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. Let's get out of here.
Thank you.